Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19. And today is time for the start of a new tournament. One that I think, I don't remember us playing at least, from Season 1 onwards. And that is the Indian Open. We take part in the last 16 today against the Jester from Leicester, Mark Selby. So a very tough draw in the last 16. Now we got through the last 64 quite successfully. And we also beat Jimmy Robertson in the last 32 by 3 frames to 1. And now we've got a best of 7 against Mark Salby. So, a bit tough one, but uh, if we win this, we get £10,000 and a spot in the last eight. Now, if you remember, on the matchup record, we beat Mark Salby quite convincingly in our last match against him in the Shanghai Masters quarterfinal. We beat him by six frames to three. But before that, he was on a good run against us. But it's fair to say that since the end of Season 2, we haven't really played him much. We played him only once last year, which is amazing. And we've played against him, obviously, this is the, this is the second time we're playing against him this year. But we've got a fairly mixed record against him. It's five. Is it six? Six four to. Is it six or is it five? No, it is. It's six four to Mark Salby in terms of the head to head. So it'd be good to get that back to six five today if we can beat him in the Indian Open. And as promised, we are going to do these best of sevens now all in one episode rather than doing what we usually do play the first four frames and then play the rest in the next episode. But if it does go up to best of nines, then we'll do our usual play the first four, get to the interval, and then play the next five in the next episode but as I understand I don't think it's actually until the final that it goes to more than a best of seven I think the Indian Open is all best of sevens throughout which I guess suits us we're quite good at our short game it's fair to say we didn't have a good time of it against Judd Trump uh, we were beaten by 10 frames to four but hopefully we'll come back from that we've been playing some good stuff in the early rounds here but a very tough opponent to be taken on at this stage in the last 16 very tough but one of us has got to go out today, and hopefully for us it's going to be Mark Salby, or else this is going to be a very short whistle-stop tour of the Indian Open. I've been watching a lot of the snooker this week. I've been thoroughly enjoying it. The Scottish Open, that is. I'm recording this on the Saturday, so it's semi-finals day today. I'll be watching those along with the F1. I'll be watching the Wolves and the Villa game probably as well. Plenty of stuff going on. From a sporting perspective this weekend. That's but that's a good shot from Mark Salby, that is. I'm just checking the plant isn't on. It doesn't look like it is, but you just never know. No, not really. Not really. So, if we can get out of this, make sure we don't hit one of these ultimately. Oh, it's going to be tricky to get out of there without doing so. So, I guess we just go... Off the pack. Oh, we didn't want to do that. We did not want to do that. You know, the best thing here... Oh, is not that. We'd have actually got away with it if we'd have put it into the middle pocket. It'd have needed him to have had a long pot anyway. But that's not a good start for us. I overhit that just slightly. Underhit it even just slightly. And that meant that... We went into the reds rather than avoiding them. But it's a tricky shot to pull off, that is. The one we played. We tend to just play the thin nick off the the reds. But Mark Salby's in first here. But he's potted the cue ball. Well. I'd have expected Mark Salby to have got a lot more out of that chance. But it didn't happen for him. So I think we'll play on. I don't think we're going to get... Oh, no, we do get position from here. I'm happy with that. It's a straighter shot. Makes it easier next time round as well. And we're just going to... Uh, see, the, this is the problem here, I suppose. Play with some top and hopefully really don't tricky. get caught in that cluster of reds. Got to get the pot first, if we have. And there we go. That's a good shot. We've got past all the reds. What happens sometimes when you go for a long pot with not a lot of pace is you get trapped down there and you have to play a safety next time round. But that's a good shot. More than happy with that. Pace is critical here. And all of a sudden, from me thinking it could be a potential one visit win for nice. Mark Selby, we're well Steering back in it. Extremely well here. I think the pink's getting on the black spot, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. That helps out because the black's out of play a little bit. It doesn't really though, does it? Because the pink can't be potted from there, so I'm gonna play this red, try and get it out of the way. Try and work out how much pace we need to get it off the cushion and then into a potable position for the pink next time out. But if not, we've got the black. I think we probably will go for the black here. Don't know where the black will particularly end up. I'm not sure on that one. All of the rest of the balls are on their spot, so 
pass on that one. It is just an awkward one to get position after this, though. Just going to have to hope the cushions give us a little bit of help. Got to pop this first. Not the easiest. It's there. The cushions are... It's okay. I guess we have got a 15. long pot we can plump for. Pink and black now are together on the table. I think the black will go. We'll come up for the blue, though, next time round. And we are very much chasing the cue ball around the table here, rather than having the cue ball Climbing on the string. To the middle pocket. But we're playing okay. No it's a decent there. start for us. Simply wonderful. I don't think we're going to make much out of this, particularly, I have to say. Can play with some side and hope for the best here, but... Can't see it. Nope. An unforced error. Hmm, not going to happen. But uh, at least we can play a safety from here. Twenty-one. He says. Trickier position than I ever thought, to be honest. Hmm. Neil Robertson, 20. That's okay. I was just worrying we might leave something on that I hadn't realised there, but sometimes it is just good to go very safe. But that wasn't so safe from Mark Selby. This isn't easy. And this isn't the Mark Selby that we know. The clinical safety Mark Selby. He wasn't like it in the well, he was like this in the Shanghai Masters match. Didn't play well at all. That could have finished a little better. That oh wow. Down. But the same can go for us here. We've Neil missed Robertson. that black, and we rarely miss well, the black. I can only think the pink just took us off it in terms of our aim. But, uh, yeah, very strange start here. He's going to go for the snooker, which, well, he hasn't got by a long shot. Disappointed with that, I think. I think we've left a red, you know. I just can't believe the... Well, I wouldn't say bad luck, but the way we've played our safety recently, we just seem to be leaving pots on. Great pots. One. Can't seem to get a lucky break. Bad. But uh, I don't think he's going to get anything from here. He might go for the long red. It's there. Lovely pot. pot. So does he open the reds up from here? Because it is a very tight frame so far. Not many points being scored. Can he see the red from here to pot into the corner pocket? I think he can. Doesn't want to overhit this. Oh no, he's going for the middle. Trying to open one more up, which is a clever decision, but tricky shot from here. Great queuing. Good shot. Seventeen. What you'd expect from Mark. My tea's bloody lukewarm. Ugh, horrible. 18. Well, what's Tosti going to do here? Surely, yeah, I'd play blue and try... Ooh! Well, I'll try and get position, but well, I'll tell you what, neither of those worked. Pot didn't work out for him. I don't know if he was going for a bit of a shot to nothing almost there. I'm not sure, but... Safety didn't... Uh, the position to play the reds didn't work. Uh, and the pot didn't obviously work either, but this looks like it could be a good shot. Could have been a cracking snooker, but the power wasn't quite there, but we haven't left anything easy, which is all we can hope for, I think. He's left a sniff here, but again, I don't fancy that. Really don't. This play is thick enough to miss the pink on the way back up. Which we have. Need the legs on this. It'd be great if it went by the blue, but it's not quite going to go far enough. But once again, he'd be brave to take on a pot from this. Just going to be a safety. Ooh. Half chance at least here. We're going to go for it. We're going to have to be horribly unlucky not for this one to drop in. Just need a tap. Bit of help from the pocket, and it's there. Now, I know the position's not great, I appreciate that, but 
we're in. With the man at the table, we can't do much from the chair, but we can certainly do something from the table. So it's a long pot here we've got to take on. I'm fairly it. hopeful. Fairly confident. That's really close, but not quite close enough. But maybe not. Maybe not. Hmm. Topsy turvy start here, and I think Mark Selby will take advantage. One. Both players not playing particularly well, but I have to say I think this will be the chance that Mark Selby does take. One. Surely he'll just play the pink here and go for the reds. And this looks like it's going to be Mark Salby's frame. And this is exactly what I was talking about in the Judd Trump match. One visit snooker, we're fine. Scrappy frames like this, we always seem to come out second best. So just have to make too many mistakes. Nicely positioned for the black. So that's frustrating, really is. It's not all over yet for this frame, but Mark Salby won't give up this chance now. Very much a frame, uh, a frame lost there. I know it sounds trivial to say that because it is right, but a chance, an opportunity we had, and we, I guess we mucked it up a little bit. Twenty-four. It was opportunistic to go for the blue, but it's all about risk and reward. The reward certainly would have been fairly big, but the risk was also also fairly big, as you can see. Once we miss that blue, he's cleared up from here. So, 36. Mark Sarby takes first blood. Forty-two. Best to seven, so four is the target. And a good break of 49 there. And that is the frame. And the sat -nav takes the first frame. The second frame. Mark Selby to break. Apologies if you can hear me gulping in the background. That will stop in a minute. The tea's only lukewarm, so I want to get it down me as quick as possible. There we go. No more gulping today, I promise. But that... It's a good chance left from the break-off. And this is the sort of frame, the sort of starts we're frame. We're well versed in these sort of frames. Knock the red in, get the black. Again, there's another red free. We know what we're doing in these frames. And it would be crucial from here to uh, go and take the uh, go and bring it back to one each. It really would. It needs to be precise to get on the red, which it is. Nicely onto a red. Eight. It's the big shot now. Can we open up the red successfully? I think he's playing this with a lot of power. That's that half really success with these sometimes. Real I think if this keeps travelling, there's certainly a chance at the middle pocket. There's a few chances here, so we need to make sure we take this because, again, if we don't, Selby certainly will. Drop this into the middle we were in good form the last time we played against Selby. That's why we beat him so well. 17. It was these sort of frames we got in and we took advantage. It's half a chance, but a chance nonetheless. Good shot on the blue. Great shot. Again, we like those. Superb cubal control there. Ideal position. 22. Just use the cushion here as a bit of help to get on the next red, uh, the next pink. But actually, we've come so far down the table, we've overhit it to an extent that the black's probably the best shot to take on here. And that again isn't the worst thing in the world. You'll notice that we we use backspin a lot more than topspin. I only use topspin when I need to. It's just the sort of player I am. We backspin, uh, you know where the ball's going ultimately. You've got that less of an element of doubt about where the cue ball's going to end up. Be a lot more precise. With topspin, I suppose, if you've got, if you put the hours in and you know, put all percentages for different shots and you can play it, then, then fine. But for me, with that backspin, you just know you've got 38. no doubts. Unless, obviously, you massively under hit or over hit the shot. You've got no doubts about where the cue ball's going to end up. Opportunistic yeah, shot here, but I think this is the best one to take on from the position we're in. And it's absolutely fine. Our pots are usually pretty good. 39. I was shocked about missing that red, uh, that black. really was. In the previous frame, when the pink was next to it. And I can only think that it was the pink being next to the black that took our eye off the pot. 
45. This isn't easy. Overdone it slightly, but again, it drops in. We didn't whack it, so Nicely onto the that's plate. okay. 46. Thought we'd missed the black again there, you know. But again, we played it with top. We've overhit it, but it's okay because I know exactly what red we're going for. 53. As you can see, it's one of the straightest pots possible. You have to do well to miss this. Drop this into the right corner. But I feel like it's roll reversal. I really do. I feel like oh, wow, at one point in this career mode, we were really struggling with four. these sort of frames where we had to get a good break and take our chance but now it's the other way around we can do this we just can't seem to win the scrappy frames i don't know if we're in a bad run whether we need to improve our safety i think it is probably the latter 61 but this is a good break again if you can play quickly and dispatch the reds it's amazing how quickly you can get to a, a sizable break it really is 62 a bit too straight on the black there if we're being pernickety but Again, we can recover from that. Just use the cushion. That's it. Slightly overhit, but no problem. 69. Obviously, the more angle you use on the cue ball, whether it topspin or backspin, the more you overhit, the, the more you're going to have a problem. But just the red needed, and in one visit, no problem there. it's one each. And that's the sort and of snook we need to play. Obviously, every frame we won't get that chance. I guess you could say, well... Make that chance for yourself. But it's easier said than done against a player like Mark Selby. 77. Didn't realise just how tough this red would be, you know, on the cush. Looking to run this along the cushion. I don't think it's going to drop. No, it doesn't. But that should be the frame, you would have thought. There's four reds left. Neil I think Robertson. we're 70... Well, 77 ahead. Yeah, 67 on the table. Neil Robertson. Five reds left, sorry, but yeah, we get the frame. Very solid stuff there. One visit, it didn't need to be a flashy sentry. It was a good break of 77. We got the job done. And panic over for a few minutes. We're not going to go 2-0 down. We're not in any serious trouble just yet. And it's, uh, it's been a decent game so far. I do like the best of seven format, I must admit. Now we need to hit this one well. A to avoid the red coming back and B to get safe. And that's okay. That's absolutely fine. Back up to bulk. There's no sort of angle there, at least a decent angle. And you wouldn't have thought a player like Mark Selby would have took it on. Is he going to take it on? I feel like that was a bit of a half and half there. Bit of a safety, but again, a bit of a half-hearted shot. shot at the same time. Need a bit of cover from the yellow if possible, and I think we're going to get it. Need a bit more on that to get the cover, I think. But again, it's a decent safety battle. I can't see it lasting too much longer, because something will get free, and there you go. That's something on Snooker 19 that is unrealistic to real life, but you just play to the conditions that you are. Long pots like that are so much easier. I mean, <laughs> I don't play Snooker in real life, but watching the, the players on the TV is all you need to know for that. Um, that long pots on Snooker 19 are a lot easier than they would be in real life. It's finished a bit awkward here. Eight. But yeah, for any of you asking, I've never picked up a cue. Something I'd quite like to do at some point. Nine. It's a decent position on the black. It's not perfect, but it's okay. Perfect. We really struggle with those sorts of shots early on in the career mode. Just cutting the black in, but now, again, it's all about... It's, with snooker, it's all about experience. It really is. 17. Things can obviously still go very wrong. 
But it's just all about experience of hitting the shots. It really is. Um, I'm going to play a safety though here because we have got into an awkward position with the black. We're not going to get any position and we're just going to have to play a safety anyway after this. So we might as well make sure we make it a decent safety. I mean, we've only hit that, so that's not going to be great. But ultimately, it won't leave a pot on. And he's got one shot and one shot only, so I'll be here. So he hasn't got much in the way of flexibility. Very thin, Nick. Nearly got us in some trouble there. This looks okay. Yep, just up to bulk. No problem. Big frame to win this wood. Again, it's a best of seven, so it's over in a flash. And if you can take a lead, hopefully we can keep it. It's a good shot there, that is. This is developing into a fascinating safety battle. Down at the jaw. Uh, actually, hitting the jaw's not done us too bad there. Again, this is a good safety battle. Is he going to take this on? He is, but he's missed it. And I tell you now, that was not for safety purposes. He was going for that. He's taking the red on. And this red should be fairly easy. We've got it. We're off the cushion. Probably need a long blue now and a classic screw back from here. But I don't think with the aiming aid that the developers could particularly change how hard these long pots are. It's just how the aiming aid works. But there are certain shots in real life that are a lot easier that are harder in games. So again, it's just all about adapting to the conditions you've got. Let's use the blue here because for the moment at least, where we are on the table, black and pink are hard to get to. They're both potable, but... It's awkward to get to from where we are. Well, I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. Another trademark crunching long pot. Looks like that. Twelve. Selby's not really had a shot, has he, since that first frame? See if we can get back on the black. He's going to need a powerful shot to get far enough up the table. Well, that's perfect. Nicely onto the colour. That's what we're looking for. Thirteen. And I think the skill sometimes it's something that Salby does a lot. Can't see any problems here. Just make sure we don't. We do actually leave a red on. Need to make sure of that. Oh, I can't tell. I think we leave the red on. The black goes back on its spot. We'll soon know. I think we do. I think we're okay. Well, that's left him a little awkward there. Oh, it's okay. I was panicking then. I thought, oh god, what's happened now? But that's fine. Again, if black's not on here, we can always go back up to the blue, which we are going to do. A bit tighter though this time in terms of getting good position. Need to be precise with this. We're 1.4% off. Let's see what damage that has. And to be fair, not much at all. It is harder than it actually looks, to be fair, that. Now. can so easily overdo these. But it's perfect. It's there. Position's not bad either. If anything, a bit too straight on the black. Hmm. Okay. The red we were just looking at goes to the the um, the green pocket. It's a tight one, but it would be a cracking shot if it worked out. Here. Not really leaving much on though if we miss this. Oh, what a shot. What a pot. Beautiful stuff. 
Applied for the blue there, but actually we can pot the pink. Try and gently well, split these, see what happens. Into the right corner pocket. Are we going to get any luck? Not a great amount, I don't think. You're not going to get much, I suppose, if you're going to play like that. Yeah, it could have been worse, I agree. So, the plan here is to play across so we get this back behind the black. Whether that'll happen or not is debatable, but it's not bad. It's not bad from there at all. It's a good shot, that. And we're not far from getting across the line in this frame. Another frame we've dominated, but that's not going to help proceedings. Not hitting the red there. It's not going to damage us particularly, I don't think. Probably just get us to play it again. No, he's going to play this. Is there a... Surely there's not a pot on here, is there? No, just a safety. This is an intriguing safety battle. Hit it right this time. There you go. That's it. He's getting perilously close to the pocket, but again, it won't hurt. Oh, how close do you want to get? But again, it's fine. This looks a bit more aggressive. It is. Need some cover, I'd say. Oh, how would you get away with that one? That's unbelievable. How did he get away with hitting those two balls and ending up where he did? I will never know. And how are we going to get on here? Are we going to leave a half chance? No, we've actually put him in a snooker. And he's missed the reds. Well, it's game to take that one again. Not really the result he was after. Well, do we? Uh, it's going to play it once more. The ball's in his court, so to speak. Let's see what he decides to do here. Is he going to hit them this time? No. Well, we will play on this time, because we can see the red a lot easier than last time. And we're obviously well, 62 really ahead. The six shot, reds left on the table. That's 75 points. Foul and a miss. Neil Roberts it's a red and a colour. He should be frame over. Here. Pace is very important. One. So this green will put a 66 in front. So the red, which should be a tap into the middle pocket, will give us the frame and we convert going 1-0 down to being 2-1 up, which I'll definitely take at this point. Four. He just needs this red. Just need the red. And it's there. In it goes. Lovely that pot. It. No real way for his opponent to win the frame now. Five. Just pot the black and probably the next red to make sure of it. But I don't want to stay at the table too long. I just want to get on with the next frame. Twelve. Big frame coming up in terms of the match, definitely. He's just looking to drop this in gently. Well, we'll play it trivially here. Looks good for a colour. See if we can whack this. No, let's not actually. Just, just play up to it. And get on with the next frame. Neil Robertson, thirteen. We had a patch like this. <laughs> Playing lots of frames before. Oh, sod it. Get on with the next one. But in a scrappy frame like that one, where we're not going to get a century, there's no point really clearing up when we know we've already won the frame. We might as well just get on with the next one. Ooh, good shot there. We'll probably need some cover here. Where's the cue ball going to end up? Oh, just a bit too hard. Maybe half a percent, because that was going to nestle in quite nicely behind the green, but we're okay. Too sure about that one, though. This uh, is an awkward shot if it goes wrong. Come on, drop in. Yes, but 
We're not on anything. Yeah, really, to be honest. We'll try for the yellow. Try and be proactive here. Tough shot coming up. Tough shot. It's there. What's the position going to be like? No Not great the at there. all. Well Unfortunate there because it was a good shot on the red. Yeah. But as I've said prior, at every frame you have to go at it. Three. And try and win it in one visit. Now the pink's been pulled away here which is an interesting one. So back up to bolt we go. Tricky to get a snoo crate at that position, but it's okay. Again, I'd say we're definitely on top. And not so expansive with his safety that time. Not so aggressive. Just a little flick off the reds and back up. He's looking for the safety again. Who will make the Just first worried mistake? about that pink on the cushion, but it's okay. It's got a good line, this has. Oh, of course, the yellow has to go and ruin it, doesn't it? Bloody yellow. He'll be playing safe here. A bit thicker this time, so we need a bit more power on this. Eye up. Eye up. Where's this one going to end up? Pick That's that one out. We've got the snooker. I said someone would get it sometime soon. We've got it. He's hit the reds. Mm, but that might shot. just well a be really a half chance. Shot. Be nice and gentle about this. But it's there. Don't run, don't run. One. Oh, can you believe your luck? Well, actually, can you believe your luck? I thought that we were completely going to be stuck there. But, one, but we can not. get on this red. Uh, the pink, which we have. I thought because the red was there, we'd have been completely stuck. Well, he's looking at potting so we've played some good tight pots so far this frame, so we certainly deserve to be the player at the table. What a contrast this is at the moment to our previous match. Amazing what a bit of confidence can do for you. I don't think quite goes, does it? So a bit of a shot to nothing here. Tricky pot coming up. It's going to drop in though. Tremendous we'll take shot. that. That's a Didn't think that was going to drop pot. in from the angle it was at. Sixteen. But rest assured, it was fine. He's an expert long potter, and he's taking this on. Don't want this to run too much. Ah, I think it has. Are we just about going to get away with it? We are. We've been a lucky boy so far this frame. We really have. This looks pretty simple. Plenty of shots that on another day could have gone the wrong way. 22. Hmm. I overdid that one though. Go back to the drawing board. I think I've jinxed ourselves. I really do. I think uh, by saying that, well, we're good at these one visit frames. Yeah, we haven't had one since frame two. I know. I know we're only in frame four, but even so. Neil Robertson, twenty-nine. Mm, again, Salby safety is not up to scratch today. Again, I wish I hadn't have said that because he'll probably pull out a snooker to end all snookers in yeah, the next one. Shot tricky shot here. Brave one to one take on, but it's there. Position What's our position going to be like? Not bad. Not bad well. at all. One. We're certainly on the black. So let's see what we can do from here. Good shot. Nine. 
The Reds, uh, I wouldn't say they're quite at our mercy, but they're certainly open for us here to attack. 16. Not too happy with that position. I'll be blunt, this is a tricky one to take on. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. Lovely. Excellent. Tremendous spot. Pick that one out. Quality queuing there. Really good. 17. We are certainly queuing well, aren't we? We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. Again, the blue helps us out a bit there. And we've really got our choice of reds now. There's two or three reds we can play. And it's always lovely to have a choice. <laughs> with anything on life, I suppose. Just want to make sure we don't get complacent now and make a stupid mistake. Nice position on the black. Just to be free one up would be a very good position to be in at this point, really would. Well, no surprises here with the long pot attempt. Ah, oh, that's a top shot. 28. So a 60 ahead. After this, there will only be five reds left on the table. So that's 68. Black will put us on 68. So black and next red. And it's Sayonara. Buying snookers, of course. Just the black needed now. Oh, it's just the black needed then. Are we on 69 no, then, maybe, there. after this? And that effectively shuts out his opponent in this frame. 36. 68. That's five reds left. It's... Oh, it's 67, isn't it? Donkey. So I sound like David Endon there, not knowing what I'm on about. Sorry, Dave. But uh, this has been good, really has. 37. Still a long way to go here. Not all over by any means, but I'd prefer to be 3 1 up than 3 1 behind. Definitely. One mistake for Selby and it could all be over for him. Pace is key. And after a bad run against him, if we can go and win this, it just gives us that boost when we play against Mark Selby. The only player we haven't quite cracked yet, I feel, is uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan. We've had a bad run against John Higgins as well recently. We played against him. Again, Not we beat him in the one, Shanghai Masters, so we got that one off our off our backs. That's a top shot. That's but uh, once again, no chance of the century, so I'm just going to play up to the black, call the frame over, and hopefully the next one goes exactly like this one and we'll be through to the last 16. But stranger things have happened. Selby could very much come back from this. He could just play free, gritty... Safety frames. We know Selby's a player that doesn't care how long it takes. This is a great opportunity to extend the lead. And uh, it's it's not the snooker shootout, so there's no rule against him having to play the frame in a certain well, time. But this is the first chance for a while for Mark Selby. He's going to play this soft to make sure it does go in. One. But he's not really got position. He's done what we do a lot. Good shot. Great shot. That's a really good safety. This doesn't look bad though either. All the colours off their spot apart from blue and pink. So that makes an interesting dynamic. But is that the mistake potentially that loses Mark Sarby the match? We will find out. In due Not course. One, but a half chance. It's there. Fabulous pop. I used to yeah. rest up against the reds there just to get onto the Put black. Problem is, how do we get the position off this? Do we just go really aggressive and try and go into the reds? See what happens. Oh, it's gone the wrong way. That was the risk. I wasn't expecting the black Five. to have gone there. Robertson, one. But Not that's okay, seven. to be honest. I can live with that. Do potentially leave the red open, but again, that's all we do leave. He's playing the safety here. No, nope, just playing the safety because the colours cover it, and that is an aggressive safety from Mark Selby. Not one you would expect from a man who's three-one down. 
and uh, knowing that one mistake will lose in this match. He'll play this with plenty of power. Need a lot of power on this to get round. It's a fabulous pop. Just proved you would expect that red to have gone out of that cue ball to have gone absolutely wild, wouldn't you? One. It's not really. It's just about got us in position for the pink. But from here, this isn't a bad chance to have to go and finish off the job. Seven. Well, whatever happens here, a reminder, we'll be back on Wednesday for the next episode. Your support has been... It, it really has. I don't say this just as a bit of a gimmick. Uh, your support really has been great. The uh, likes, etc. that you've been leaving on the videos since the comeback is awesome. You always do fear with series like this that have been going for a long time that the interest will start to drop and, and people will get bored of it, but you guys seem to be enjoying it, and uh, as a content creator, that's the best thing I can do for you guys, to provide exciting content. Getting a bit awkward, I have to say, down here. Have to play a few trickier shots to get on the black. Nicely positioned for the black. Sometimes having the reds 20. at your mercy is the worst thing. It's a strange thing, but the pressure and knowing you've got to get your position exactly right rather than opening them up for yourself. 31. It's a very strange one, strange feeling. suppose it's, I mean, not quite, but it's a bit like the analogy in football when you're one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. Looks good for a colour. Your opponent can't do anything about it. But, well, in terms of... It, <laughs> I guess one-on-one -on -one with a keeper who's crap, <laughs> if you like. Uh, a not very good keeper, and the only thing that can really mess you up is yourself. But rather than having to score one goal, you've got to score... 10, 15, 20 in a row. 38. Put them all in the right position. Have luck on your side as well. So, I don't know. The, the wind doesn't blow the ball. I mean, this is a terrible analogy, but it's the only one I can think of. 45. I suppose it's, it's almost like batting against a poor bowler, isn't it, in cricket? You can be very Not tense to go for the colour. sixes, the flashy shots, but... 26. It's a bit like Adil Rashid. I don't know. I don't really rate him as a bowler, but well particularly in the in the short, the limited it's over good. stuff, players attack him, and that's where you find he gets he gets wickets. But less about cricket and more about snook. We've got a great chance now. We really have. Fifty-four. Haven't seen much from Mr. Selby after the first frame today. He's gone quiet. This puts us 54 ahead. Five reds left on the table, so there's 67 remaining. Red and a colour, and we're through, I'd say, with relative ease, for the next round. Again, barring snookers. So just the colour needed now. Could have done with a better position on the blue, but we can certainly pot it from here. 62. So just the blue needed. Just the blue needed now. There you go, Neil Fold says the same as us, and barring snookers, and we have beaten good. Mark Selby, much like in the previous match, quite convincingly, and we'll be back on Wednesday with a quarter-final of the Indian Open, and we'll find out in just a minute who that's going to be against. Well, an excellent pot. That's the Reds opened up now. Come back a century here, I've forgotten. 68. Yes, we can, so let's see if we can do it. Not quite a chance for a full clearance because of the foul we conceded earlier on. I don't, I can't remember if we made any centuries in the two games that came before this. 
73. I don't feel like we did. There's a potential decent break, 120 odd on here. He just the only reason we're staying at the table. Gently. The match is all done. Oh, I thought that was going to be the problem there. I thought that was going to be the end of the match with that red not quite going in, but seems to be getting a bit of luck of that well, sort with the pockets at the moment. It's a good blue. Great pot. 79. 79. Now becomes 80. 86 with the pink, 87 with the red. 80. We'll probably need a few other colours as well. Depending on what configuration we go for after this red. 86. Seems sensible probably to go for the, the blue. Gives us the best position, I would say. Guaranteed on the yellow. I wonder who will play in the quarterfinal. Hmm. 87. If I had to have a hunch, if I had to say someone, I feel like we haven't played Mark Allen for a while. I'm going to say Mark Allen. Just as a hunch. So what does that put us up to in terms of the break? 92. That puts up to 92, so we'll need yellow, Just the green, now. and brown. 94. Should be okay. Top shot Just drop up. this green in. It's there. That is a great recovery shot. 97. So just the brown for the ton. And it's there. A good century to win the match. What a century. Well played. We'll probably be a break 119 here. We can get the three remaining balls. Nicely done. Good position to take on this pink. 106. Pink's there. Don't worry if you think I'm ahead of the comment at the end of the video. I'm not. I'm just uh, seeing it as it is. Unless we have a fatal stoppage of the ball. And there's the black going in right now for a break. 119, which wins us the match. Convincingly, four frames to one against Mark Salby. Good results, and we're through to the last eight. Yeah, I'm going to say Mark Allen, but I've got no idea who it can be. Mark Selby only with, what's that, 84 points? Not a good day for Mark Selby. Most of those scored in the first frame. Didn't really have much of the play at all after that, but a strong result for us. And in the quarterfinals on Wednesday, we will be playing against... Ding Junhui. Bit of a bogey player for... I mean... <laughs> Saying a player who's ranked 6th is a bogey player, he's very offensive, but he's a player we rarely do well against. And uh, he's in good form, he's ding. He's now gone ahead of Ronnie O'Sullivan in the rankings. If you look, we've now won 10,000, so chances are, unless Kyron does very well, we might be going above him in the rankings. And if we can do very well here, we could find ourselves in the top 9 after this event. But we'll be back on Wednesday for that best of 7 against uh, the Dragon, Ding Junhui, best of 7. But uh, yeah... Good, good match today. I'm happy with that. And we'll be back on Wednesday for the next episode. So if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts as well. And subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday at 6pm. Thank you for your company. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye for now.